Welcome to Any Resources uh, first video on how to make a ticket system. You might be using when needing a ticket system and say you have a game website or a, um, any kind of real website that you want the users to be able to if they find a problem they have a system that they can go in create this ticket and then your GMs or admins or whoever uh, techs or whoever can go in and see the tickets assign them to each other and then actually perform do them. I see a lot of paid scripts scripts out there that you have to pay for and stuff so I figured I'd make a neat little easy one that's super simple to make you can add it to a, your forums or, or however you want now I'm not going to uh, this is not a super beginner tutorial I'm, I'm assuming you've already either got a host or you've got WAMP installed if you don't know how to use WAMP don't know how to install it watch my first and first through probably third videos of uh, how to make a browser based in morgue and those will help you out uh, I will go into code quite a bit here and, and kind of make kind of do it on the easy side. I'm not going to skip over too much for the for the advanced users. Um, you're more than welcome to use this code however you want. So if you're an advanced user, just grab the code and run with it. But this tutorial is based around teaching anyone who doesn't know how to use the system or to how I built the system to learn how to build one for their own and to make it for their own. Um, I'm not going to go into graphics whatsoever. This is a simple system. You put your own graphics in. You tailor it however you want. Uh, the only thing that I, you know you can use the system however you want I don't care if you put my name in it you know just come by indieresource.com and say hey thanks or whatever and that's all I really care so let's go ahead and get started but the basic I haven't completed this this ticket system I'm gonna complete it as we do these tutorials there's probably gonna be four or five videos on it uh, if you notice I have create new ticket view your tickets and work tickets you can come in here create a new ticket you can choose the category you can choose priority and then in their subject and description uh, I'll show you the back end, the database, and all, I'm gonna have all these where you can download them, so I don't have to go through everything. But we have categories, priority, tickets, and users. The way I did categories is you guys aren't gonna have the same categories as each other, you know, as me or anyone else. So you can go in and actually just add a new category. Let's say we want to say we don't have a website we want anyone to mess with. Just we can delete that website and, and say we don't want people reporting it you can go in and you can notice that it's now removed and you can add them the same way you just go in and add a new one to the database we will make a back end to make this easier same goes with priority and with priority I actually have a color with that you can it's an HTML color code you can find the color codes on on the internet just go into Google and you can actually choose your priority names um, you know you can put as many as you want and then just use an HTML color this is green yellow and red you know kind of fit that and when you go into the ticket to view them you will actually see let me go back I guess I need to put a back button don't I? Um, view your tickets that they come in those colors and uh, you can see I put some test uh, tickets in here and you can actually view the ticket I don't think I've finished view ticket yet no so we're gonna finish that next video but uh, you can kind of see w what we have here so far and let's go to users and you can see how I have name password access and email access I'll show you the access when we actually get into the code that'll make it a little easier um, let's start with the index the index is real simple I'm not gonna go into my login or anything because if, if you need to learn how to do login pages and stuff watch the first second and third video of how to make a browser in morgue I go through all that and I'm using the exact same login system I use there as here plus you may want to actually tie this to your PHP forms so I'm not going to go into login but what I will do is if you notice here I have include once connect.php that's the actual my connection uh, script and that's something I'm going to tie to my browser based in morgue you only have to watch the first three videos and you'll understand what, it, what it's coming from I just don't want to tie this video up with all that and then I just check for a session when you log in it should give you a session and that that variable be user if you're, if they are logged in then we need to go ahead and do a query and check the access of the user um, and then we're just going to turn that that information whatever level access they are into an actual variable if they're not logged in then we're going to give them a little thing saying hey you need to log in next thing we have is that that little uh, menu I had welcome and then the username uh, you can create ticket and view tickets as a normal user now if you notice here a level one is a normal user level two is a moderator tech GM level three is a senior moderator and four is admin full access I put here if access is greater than one so if you're greater than a normal user 
then you'll be able to work tickets and then you'll just print out a little ticket menu and we'll go into more of that later now let's go to our crate ticket and up top I did the same thing you're gonna check for a variable if for the user session if they're not logged in then you're gonna tell them to log in then I have a uh, I have a CSS sheet which we're gonna get into and that's it this is basically the form the square form I uh, for this category how I had that drop down to check the database was I select names category that's just the name we're gonna pass to the post variable option selected choose a category that's just what's gonna show up first uh, and then it's going to do a query select type from categories so it's going to select all everything you put in that categories and it's actually going to place it in the in an option so you're actually going to take all the variables in that array and that's how we get that drop down and then after that I want to put police select type of trouble you're having and that's kind of self explanatory let's go down same thing goes with priority I want to take type and color from priority I want to take the name which is type and put it in the option and then I'm just gonna make a variable called color that's gonna put the color because I want to be I want to pass color through the post variable and put it in the database so we don't have to run back to the table uh, of check that this table for the color when we can just have it in our actual ticket and then we just have our printing out choose the importance of this ticket this ticket will be logged under your current username like I said before I'm not going into a whole bunch of the PHP description if you need to learn how to use PHP uh, try my MMO tutorial it, it explains much better than this but this is some simple PHP and HTML next thing I want to do is I want to do a hidden type of variable and I want the name to be color and I'm just gonna pass the PHP um, I'm doing it inside actual outside of a PHP bracket but inside HTML so I need to bring it but I need to open back up that PHP and just echo out that variable color whatever the color is and then I do the enter the subject for the ticket and the input type subject text then subject is the actual name that I'm going to pass description of the problem if you know HTML then you know you have to do text area in your columns and stuff to make an actual text box and then just submit and then when we go into enter ticket same thing up top we want to make sure they're logged in and then we're going to post all those variables and these are all the variables being posted then we're just going to do a simple insert into tickets the user the category the priority the subject the description and the color and that's it that's you're basically putting the ticket in the system and that's kind of the, the beginner parts of it review the tickets I mean that's all it's doing is pulling them back out and I'm gonna go over all this later but this video is only 10 minutes so just wait for the next video and we'll go over this a little more